Welcome to the first ever Camp Crunch Labs, and I know what you're thinking. What the heck is Camp Crunch Labs, Mark? Well, Camp Crunch Labs is a little something like this. Crunch Labs is like a virtual summer camp, and if you do it along with me, I'm giving you a Mark Rober guarantee that this will be the least boring summer of your entire life. So here's the deal. There's two parts. Part one is the video you're watching right now. There'll be 12 videos total, one every week. And in those weekly videos we'll release every Saturday, there's gonna be a mega experiment every single time. In fact, we're gonna do one in just a little bit. I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like, but if I had a guess, it'd probably look a little something like this. Then after the mega experiment in every video, I'm gonna give you a challenge to work on during the week. It'll be some kind of build or project sort of like this. Then during each weekly video, we'll show a bunch of your challenge videos from the previous week, and I'll pick my four favorites. Now to be my favorites, you really gotta level up your game. You just gotta do something mind blowing. So we'll have those four winners every week, and then at the end of the summer, I'm gonna pick my favorite one from all of the challenges. And whoever gets that earns this special Camp Crunch Labs Platinum Ticket. And that means you're coming out here for week 12 for the biggest mega experiment of them all. And I don't want to give too much away, but our roof may not survive. So that's part one. These weekly videos with the challenges and the mega experiments. And then for part two, we've got the Crunch Labs build boxes themselves. And you guys know this by now, but these are the super cool toys I designed right here at Crunch Labs with my team. Yes to help you think like an engineer. They come in the mail, when you open it, there's a video for me where we not only build it together, but I teach you all the juicy physics for how the toy works. Now normally these come every month, but with Camp Crunch Labs, it's an accelerated program. And we give you the option to get them every week so your brain stays stoked through the entire summer. And what kind of toys are we talking about? Well, we got some of them right here. This one's called Airball, where we learn about the Kawanda effect. We've got our Rube Goldberg catapults here that make a chain reaction. For you pranksters out there, we've got this tripwire where we learn all about momentum transfer. This is a really cool strobe light animator where we learn all about light refraction. We've got this amazing art machine where we learn about linkages. This carnival target duck game is all about belts. With this wrist-mounted paper airplane launcher, the engineering principle is springs. We learned about air pressure with the six shooter rocket revolver. Again, you're putting all these together and learning all the physics principles that come along with them. And then of course, maybe my personal favorite because it's the first one we shipped to you, the six shooter disc launcher where we learn about flywheels. Watch this. Oh yes, got him. Got him with the mini disc. All right, so that's Cam Crunch Slimes. The weekly videos you're watching right now, and of course the weekly boxes that come right to your house. All right, well that's enough talk, Mark. Let's get to today's mega experiment. And for that, we're coming over here. Let's talk a little bit about chopping wood. This feels very appropriate for camp. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not that good at chopping wood, but I am a good engineer, which means I'm actually pretty violent at chopping wood. So to help out today, I've enlisted the help of an old friend, the field goal kicking robot. Mr. Ray Finkel himself, except there's one slight alteration. If you zoom in right here, you'll see instead of a kicking foot, he's got an ax foot. And I'm no lumberjack, but today we're gonna do some science to see if that can split a piece of wood. So Finkel is assistant number one, but this is a big enough experiment and I need some help from my number one go-to when it comes to crazy experiments. Please welcome my good friend, Science Bob. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Ooh, look what Bob. you got here. Isn't this nice? This is great. Well, it's good to be here. This must be Camp Crunch Labs. Yeah, what do you think uh, of the place? I was a summer camp kid. I feel right at home here. Do you like what we've done with it? Even the, the nylon LED fire? Yeah. Ooh, wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah, don't try that at home, kids. We got squirrels hidden. Yeah, I see that. You got squirrels. You got Finkel here. Yeah. I planned a little something for Finkel. Oh, you did? Yeah. Speaking of Bob planning stuff, Bob's a bit of an, a chemistry expert. Whenever I have to do something 
of the chemistry, i.e. filling a pool with elephant toothpaste, mm -hmm. or the world's largest elephant toothpaste, that was fun. or I don't know, inventing devil's toothpaste, Ooh, that was crazy. or I don't know, filling Jimmy Kimmel's entire office with elephant toothpaste. Oh. But that's not all we do together, no. Bob. No, no. Because today, in addition to splitting wood, you brought me some presents. Yeah, yeah, come on over. This is gonna be fun. Chemistry-related presents, in fact. We have a whole assortment of oh, things yeah. for Finkel here. You have Camp Crunch Labs, don't you have any campers? I do have campers, I'm oh. glad you asked. Oh, campers, get, get back over Come here. Come on in. We've got Hazel, Uriah, and Aiden. Ray Finkel, the fuel king robot, has an ax on his foot and it's gonna smash through all of these things. What do we got here? I mixed up a whole bunch of slime that I think is at the right consistency. This looks like Smurf snot. Is it safe to touch? Yeah, it is. It's just slime. It's, oh, there you it's go. just slime, wow, she That's says. a challenge. Like, like you're brave enough to do it. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. First of all, let's shake hands. <laughs> Ew, Hazel. Oh, wow. Ew. This reminds me of when I did the jello pool. Oh, yeah. And your hands will stop turning blue in a couple days. What, Bob? Give me five. Yeah! All right, what else we got here? We got Orbeez, draw okay. our Orbeez. Classic Orbeez. We got the Jenga tower. Uh, oh, Skittles. Uh, we got a tower of Lego. And we've got a balloon here, but it is not a water balloon. It is filled with Ooblek, a non-Newtonian liquid. Aiden, Uriah, do you want to touch that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, because when you go fast, it's like really rigid, right? But then when you go slow, it just sinks in. It's almost like liquid. So Aiden, what do you think? When the field goal kicking robot hits this, what do you think will happen? It'll explode. It'll explode? I feel like that's a safe bet. Even like touching this, it's like if you touch it fast, it feels hard. When you go slow, it just feels like a normal water balloon. Try that, Hazel. You know what I mean? Hey, Hazel, easy! <laughs> Save it for Finkel, wow! The first thing we're gonna do is just try and split a piece of wood. This is camp after mm. all, right? All right, Hazel, you get to pick one of the pieces of wood. There you go, that. That's kind of small, Hazel. Yeah, I know. Give me a juicy one. No, I need a big one, Hazel! <laughs> okay, Hazel picked this one, and I'll pick one more. This one, because Hazel's just trying to sabotage things here. We're gonna put all these now in front of the axe foot, including your tiny little pieces of wood. And now, you think it's a good idea, Hazel, for us to just be standing right here while Ray Finkel does his thing? No, because especially because I've seen that fall off. A dagger! She insults my engineering right in front of me. I believe she's referring to this. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So we will be very safely watching way over there in another room behind a blast shield. Are you ready to go get in a safe position? Sure. Okay, let's go. Eye protection on everyone. Goggle up for safety. We're gonna watch it from over here. Ooh, yeah. We're about 40 feet away, so we're in a very safe position. We've got eye protection on. Let's roll it. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I mean, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> Let's see. We started, Hazel, with how many pieces of wood? Like four. There's more than four pieces now. I'm no statistician, but I feel like we, we split wood and that was the goal. All right, next up. Chenga. You guys got to figure out how to get it this over here. This is team building. Maybe one of us can hold the middle. One of us this is good. Okay. Good. Oh, wow. Wow, good. Not gonna lie, that's going better than I anticipated. Watch out, oh, you're, they're fading. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, right here, we need it right here. Okay, let's check it out. Go. Oh. Yes. Oh, it wow. split it. It split the one at the bottom. Oh, it's stuck on it. <laughs> it's stuck on. This, my science loving friends, is where things get interesting. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Wow. wow! Taste the rainbow! Wow! Next! Ooh, black. <laughs> <laughs> What's really interesting is where it landed, there's no chunks at all. It just became liquid again, right? Which is exactly what you'd expect. Ready? Here we go. Don't screw this up, Bob. I won't. Robot versus slime. Oh, oh yeah, we got wall splatter. 
Yes! Wow! That is beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look, there goes the slime. All right, Hazel, this one's you. Oh, that yeah. was <laughs> Oh, whoa. Once they all go in the air, look at this one. Oh, they definitely hit the wall. Oh yeah, we got a lot of wall hitage. Oh, yes, look at them wobble. Wow. wow, that's so beautiful, look at those. Wow, it's so it pretty. But you know what's coming next? The watermelon. The watermelon. It's watermelon time. Ooh, <laughs> that's ready to serve. Whoa. Tough watermelon. That looks a bit barbaric. That looks gory. Fantastic. Well done, Finkel. Well done. All right. The carnage. Just when you guys thought this episode of Camp Crunch Labs was over, we've got one more banger experiment. I'm going to be honest. You got to step back a little bit for this one, okay? And I'm going to put on some personal protection. Bob, get the trash can ready. All right, Bob, what do we got here? All right, so we got a bucket here filled with liquid nitrogen, my favorite liquid. That's very cold. 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Okay. And here we got near boiling water. That's very hot. And so we're gonna kind of recreate what you do when you go out on a cold day and you breathe and you see your breath. It's hot and cold. I see. Coming together, but we're doing it in an extreme Camp Crunch way. An extreme way. version, we're making a cloud. Safety first, you can't do this at home, which is why we're doing it at Camp Crunch Labs. In three, two, one. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh. Well done. That was cool. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's off to your cabins and uh, you killed it. Thanks for joining us. Get the heck out of here. All right, Bob. Well, I'd say it was a good day at camp. We got a lot of happy campers. Not a bad first day. Certainly made a mess. And I'd never seen Finkel in action in person. It's quite impressive. He can bomb like a 110 yard field goal, by the way. That actually kind of makes me think. I've had this under here all day. I've never seen it even kick a football. Camp Crunch Labs is all about doing stuff you can't necessarily do at home. All right. Let's do it, Finkel. We got a little watermelon seed. <laughs> all right. Crank it up. Here you go, Bob. You said you wanted to see it. I want to see the football. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob, is that everything you hoped for? Sorry about your window. Wow. Wow. Again. We're doing things at Crunch Labs you cannot do at home. We are trained professionals. Your parents nor your neighbors would be happy with an outcome like that. We've done it now, so you don't have to. I'm going to my cabin before they come back. <laughs> I just put my hand in goo. Ugh. Whew. All right. Now that we've completed today's mega experiment, it's time for part two of these videos, which is the weekly super challenge. And because this is week one of camp, I didn't give an assignment for a super challenge last week. So to give you a flavor of the kind of submission I'm looking for, I'm gonna show you some of the best videos I've seen pop up over the last year on our socials from kids just like you who are taking the build boxes just to the absolute next level. Let's take a look. I said let's, there we go. All right, these first ones are just some great shots with the disc launcher. Here's an epic trick shot with a card. Boom, hits the ball out of midair. I decided it might be fun if it could shoot multiple at once. This trigger has a platform underneath the circle that holds the discs, and so when you pull it. Very clever modification. I love this, infinite disc launcher. Sometimes the simplest things can make all the difference. 
That's a clever mod so the discs don't come out. And here's another clever 3D printed mod so you can load it way more than six discs. These are disc launchers. And these guys do a better impression of me than I do. Disc launcher 2.0. We're modifying the Ritz crackers. <laughs> Here's a little food mod. Loving this Ritz Launcher 2000. Here's an epic mod for the wrist mounted paper airplane launcher. And here's some of the best setups with the chain reaction catapult. What I love most about these, besides the incredible creativity, is just the feeling of satisfaction you can just sense from everyone when it finally works. This is straight up dude perfect world. It's all just so clever. Spoon in the bowl. Nailed it. Even the pets love a good Crunch Labs box. Good <laughs> girl. And of course, you know I love a good prank. And we've seen some good pranks. <laughs> this one's great because it's a wireless tripwire, right? It's using a proximity sensor with an Arduino that then triggers the balls to launch. Very high tech. And what do you do with all your Crunch Labs toys? Well, here's one option. So of all of those, the ones that were my favorite were these four. So if you submitted one of those four videos, congratulations, and be checking your mailbox because a very official signed Camp Crunch Labs patch, it's on his way to your house. And remember, at the end of the summer, my favorite of all of the submissions is getting this official Camp Crunch Labs, stick it in a wood log platinum ticket, which means you're coming out here for the 12th video, which will be our biggest mega experiment ever. All right, so for the week one official super challenge assignment, your task is to build the greatest pillow fort ever. I love you doing these as the kid, right? Like in your living room, you got the couch, you got blankets. Now, of course, it's important to work with your parents on this and get their permission so you don't do anything too crazy or unsafe. But I will see every single one of these submissions. So if you've ever wanted me to show how great your building skills are, or how creative you are, this is your chance. Now importantly, to make sure I see it, you gotta of course film it with your parents, then work with them to post it online, tag us on our socials at Crunch Labs, and it's critical you use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs contest, as you see right here on your screen. Just make sure you have it posted before you go to bed Thursday night so we have plenty of time to review it for next week's Camp Crunch Labs on Saturday. And so to really make this your least boring summer ever, make sure to go to campcrunchlabs.com with your parents so you can get those weekly build boxes that go along with these videos. So between the toys and the weekly challenges, by the time you go back to school in September, you're basically gonna be an engineer. All right, campers, that's it. Time to get to work on your super challenge and putting your build box together, and then I'll catch you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs.